Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 26, Football Manager. We're still with Minnesota, uh, but <laughs> we're coming up onto the last couple of matches of the season. Uh, we've set a new record of 70 yellow cards and 7 red cards, breaking our previously held record of 67 and 6. So, way to go. Uh, and uh, anyway... Uh, we will get to the schedule and the results uh, when we get to the well we can talk about it so while we're getting here to the next game um, I brought in a couple of new tactics again so we, we've we've got three completely new tactics that we, we haven't played before uh, and yeah I'm definitely gone at the end of this year um, Uh, not sure what that was. Um, don't know where I'm going to go. I may, you know, I may be out of work for a little while and that's okay. Uh, so I'm actually recording this a little early. I'm recording this on Friday, but it will not go up until next Friday. Although I may condense and, and put them out, uh, you know, back to back days, uh, whatever. Uh, let's see, we'll do that. Five to eight days. Um, so we're definitely gone at the end of the year. Um, it'll be, we'll, we'll take a quick look before we get into the matches. Who, you know, who's available. Well, you know what? Let's keep that till the end of the season, till the, after the last match. And I don't know if we advance past the final stage here in the cup. I don't know if I stick around to see that out. I guess I do to try to win silverware, but I don't even know how many rounds there are in this thing. So yeah, it's, it's all right. So let's see. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, once more first team soccer. Oh, the stadium, yeah. yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let's take a quick look. Uh, so we lost <laughs> we lost 4-1 to one to Uruquianos. Uh, we had two players sent off. Uh, we were down 4-0, got a late goal. A um, couple of the goals given up were really cheap. This was the first match that we incorporated a new tactic. I actually went ahead with the high press line, uh, playing the offsides trap, and we got burned badly. Um, we were actually underdogs to Estudiatus de, Mer de Merida. Uh, we won three to nil. Uh, Arujo, Somoza, and Delgado scored. Uh, some really nice ball movement. Uh, we played another new tactic, uh, different from the Uruguayanos. And then we had a 1-1 draw against Titans. Had another player sent off in the 90th minute. Second yellow card. Uh, Arujo with another goal. They scored on a penalty. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, so we've got a 3-0 aggregate advantage plus three away goals. So they're going to have to beat us by four goals. Or they're going to have to beat us and score. Yeah, they're going to have to beat us by four, four nil. Uh, so fingers crossed that that doesn't happen. Um, yeah, we'll look at the, at the, you know, clubs that are available or coming available. Um, ow. Put that <laughs> uh, after the after the final match, and I'm assuming that if we advance past this, we're still not gonna. Let's see, third round, final stage. Yeah, quarter semis. I don't know. Do I stick around? I don't think I'm gonna make the finals, but you know, whatever. Uh, you know, I'm pretty much done with this team. We've really struggled. Uh, one of the new subscribers said he it was nice to see somebody actually struggle for a change rather than just dominate competition and go up every year. I am so glad I could be of service to you for that. <laughs> um, I'd much rather be on you know on the other side where I'm just winning. Uh, but, you know, this is part of the game. I don't think you should be able to win all the time. And, again, I, I'm confused because I'm trying tactics that I've 
played in 17, 18, and 19 with success. It's just not working here. So I don't know if it has to do with being South America. I don't know if it has to do with the level of players that we've got here just not being up to snuff for what I'm used to having at this level. But I mean, even even the earlier save here in FM19 uh, with what a, a level nine, I think level nine club in England, we were more successful than this. Um, so yeah, I just I just don't know. But a uh, lot of red down the stretch. We've gotten a couple of wins, which were much needed. I believe, I believe that we are safe for the year. So we're three points up. Um, how many games do we play? Twenty. So twelve games. Okay. All right. So we play. All right. Yeah. So we've actually played one more. All right. We are not safe. But if I look at this, I thought I was safe. Holy shit. I've got a game in hand over this guy and two on this guy. So yeah, I'd. All right. Araceros. Um, da, 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 closing stage, all groups. All right, Araceros is with us. So they've got a game in hand this cycle. Yeah, because we only played 10 because we were in the small group in the opening stage. So it's hard to tell. Some teams are just going to have more games. How do you equal that out? How is that even fair? Right? That can't be fair. That's bullshit. So, I, I have no idea. I thought I was safe. I was like, I'm four up with one to play, and I'm one in hand. So they must be done. But they look like they have two left to play. Holy crap. Now the pressure's on. All right, well, uh... We're at home. We're underdogs coming off a 3-0 victory, which we were underdogs on the road. Um, so, I've got a 4-1-4-1. I've got a, a different 4-1-4-1 with two different, you know, some different positions. And then I've got a 4-1-2-2-1, which this is the Leeds United tactic under Marcelo Bielsa. So, I, I really want to try to play this one. I just don't know if we have the fitness, and we really don't have the wingers here. Let's see, who's our... Uh, Arujo is injured, so Beretta is going to be my best. And then Castillo, you're on a yellow, you're at 90, you're still the better player. Uh, Fernandez, Dorito, I'm going to put Fernandez, uh, what's Fernandez look like? He's young. Pace, eh, eh, crossing, eh, technique, eh, passing's not real good, even though he's a natural. Um, yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to put Castillo out there. Uh, Marin. Porto, first touch, man, if, if he just had better pace, I think he would be awesome, but he's, he has yet to even score a goal. All right, let's go. Let's go with it.
So what I, my plan is, is once we get to the end of the season, we are going to, uh, now morale's actually up, so that's that's good, is to go ahead and resign. Oh, we just had another takeover, by the way. That's like, what, the fourth takeover in the last two seasons, I think? Uh, this one was just a board director taking over from the current board director slash president. Um, Castillo played out. Zuniaga. Ah, and there's the counter. Oh, nice. Knocked away. Played up. Oh, you guys got to be all over that ball. Come on. Yeah, we've got to... Uh, this, being that this is a... Oh, and there's a shot! Oh, Serrano, second goal of the season. That's a nice finish. Uh, he was right there to pounce on it when we knocked it away. Um, I think if I'm going to use this tactic, and I would love to use this tactic, because let me tell you, since we started watching Leeds play with it last year under Bielsa, um, I'm a fan, let me tell you. Uh, very up-tempo, very aggressive. Um, I, I really, really like it. Samoza, Serrano, Samoza, Serrano. Uh, yeah, he was feeling his oats there, huh? Um, so, but I think we've got to go with guys with stamina, pace acceleration, and passing. Uh, I think that's got to be the key. Oh, there was a cheeky shot. I think that's got to be the uh, the three primary factors that we go for, uh, basically across the board, because you've got the attacking wing backs coming up from the back line. You, you're playing too high, and so you're really stuck with two center backs and your defensive midfielder playmaker. Uh, that oh, that was horrible. He went off sides. Seriously? Oh, that's a brutal. All right. Well, the goal gave us a 4-0 advantage, so they're going to have to score four more goals. Oh, that was just stupid. Um, So that, I think that defensive midfielder position that Calvin Phillips plays for Leeds right now is crucial. Um, Oh, man, that was, that was not good. Get creative. Okay, there was a nice touch by Marshawn. Center back missed it. Got a nice touch on the ball to get it away from the shot opportunity. So I'm okay there. Inspired, pressured. So, yeah, I mean, it looks like, I mean, you know, we should hold on thanks to the 3-0 advantage from the first leg to make it to the quarterfinals. I probably won't record that. I mean, I may try to, I may record it, and then if we just, if we lose, I'll probably just delete it and uh, just let you guys know, hey, we lost. <laughs> um, but, um yeah, because I really want to get into the off season. I want to be able to resign, start getting some some interest, and I think the sooner I resign and and get my name out there or open myself up to be approached, the better. And you know, I think I've also decided. So you know, originally I said my goal was to get to Santos in the Brazilian First Division. The only other club I think that I might set a, a goal for, and it would be secondary to Santos, would maybe be Newell's Old Boys, um, just because that's where Bielsa you know, made his name as a player and then started his coaching career. So that might be something to look at. In fact, maybe after this match, we'll check out Newell's Old Boys and see. I don't even know what league they're in. I know they're in Argentina. Um A lot of movement with the guys in this in this tactic. I do like it. Um, Headed out. I don't like the throw-ins. 
at all. Oh, God. I really detest when they kick it right into a defender. Bautista takes a touch. Oh, just off target. Seven shots, two on target, four long shots. <clears throat> I guess anything outside the box is a long shot, right? I would guess. Uh, let's make a sub here. Uh, Samoza. For Ber I think Ber uh, Serrano can play back there. Let's see who has, who has the best passing. 12. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Uh, Samoza for Bermudez. That'll give us a better passer. He's not as, I don't think he's as pacey. Actually, he's got the same pace and, decent, and just as good as acceleration. Uh, Zuniaga, defensive left. Brito can play. Brito can play on the right, but let's go ahead and bring him in for Zuniaga. All right, we'll go with that. That's a, oh, my offsides. Thank God. That was a big header to a wide open guy, and it came right into the box, and he was just right there to put it in. All right. Three clear cut chances for them. I don't like that. And I think that's due to. All right. I'm going to tweak this just a little bit. I'm going to do that and take off the offsides trap. All right, and we're going to go higher. All right, that's all I want to do right there. We're going to drop that back just a touch and take off the offsides trap. Possession is not horrible. I just don't like getting beat so easy over the top. And again, a lot of that has to do with our just lack of pace. Uh, let's go ahead and do a time waster right here. Uh, Johan Rivero. Yeah, Musette's at 63. Let's sub him off. Come on, boys. Just to get a win, you know, especially on, on camera. That's nice. <laughs> that's nice. So we're still playing the pressure. We're still playing the, the you know, on the ball. But we are getting, we are, we are dropping off a little bit for the offsides trap. And, the, and that's, I think that's the big thing. All right, so four to one, good. Uh, appreciate the efforts. They're happy. Morale's up a little bit more. Uh, inbox, good. Good. No money. Hello? No. Serrano with one goal. All right, we're impressed. I can't wait to see it. All right, well, hey, man. And you don't have to worry about it after the next week or so. All right. We'll come back for the next match. Coming up. Which will be our finale. I'm guessing because that's the end of the day. Oh, you know what? Let's check that real quick. So, you guys, senior squad... All right, they play the second and then the ninth. Oh, we close out with them? Wow. Yes, we do. Oh, my God. Oh, that's going to be huge. All right, we'll come back. We'll uh, we'll come back. We'll know where we sit with Araceros because the other clubs do have games here in the next couple of days to catch up with us. So, we're on a good run. Two draws and a win. I'm, I'm going to call that successful. Uh, so we'll see you guys back here in a second. 
All right, guys, we are back. It is October 23rd. We had to uh, reschedule our match because we made the quarterfinal of the Venezuela Cup. So let's take a quick look here. Uh, so after the draw against... Uh, who did we play? Oh, we played... A, yeah, we put no, we played Yaraquanos. No, I don't remember. Anyway, <laughs> we drew against Titans, uh, Estudiantes. We drew 1 1, uh, which gave us the win on aggregate. Then we played Falcon. Uh, Falcon play up in the uh, Segunda division as well, their 12th position. Uh, we are sixth in our stage, but we're behind them. Uh, we had a 1-1 draw, then a 3-0 win. Uh, well, we don't need to watch that. 3-0 uh, win with a, a goal by Castillo and Joel Aruzo with two goals. Uh, that put us into Zamora, who are in the Primera division. So this was definitely a step up. We lost 1-0 in the opening leg. Uh, Reina got hurt. Uh, Moreno got a, P a PK for them and then we drew 1-1 we got a penalty back from Delgado and then Zarate scored in the 75th minute and that puts us into our season finale I have not looked to see how Araceros did so let's take a quick look put the pressure on us we are 18th it says we're on even footing, so they're two points behind us. Oh, that's going to be brutal. But they're three points. They played two more matches. How can that be fair? Three wins, that's nine. And five is 14. They're going to end up on 24, and we're going to end up on 22. That can't be fair, right? Sorting rules. Goal difference. Results between teams. Goals scored. I'm trying to see if there's anything that, that they take out your, you know, uh, you know, I don't know, your top and your bottom result. I, I don't know. Because that just doesn't seem fair that they could beat us with two extra games played. That's six extra point opportunities, right? That just doesn't seem right. It seems like the deck certainly stacked against you from the get-go doing that. Thank you, sir. Um, now, having said that, if they beat us, we would end up equal points, but we're minus 19 goal differential. They're minus 32. That's 13 goals. So they'd have to beat us 13 to nothing in order to, to overtake us, I think. I think. Anyway, all right, let's get into the match. Hopefully we're safe. I mean, I, I want to leave them in the second division, and then they can get demoted after I leave. Um, all right, we're on the road. Underdogs. Fair enough. We've got a – God, I don't think I even want to play that tactic. We've got so many people out. All right, we'll, we'll go there. Um, look at this. Brito's out, right, starting right back. Reyna, backup right back. <laughs> uh, Alexio, starting midfielder. 17 starts there. Zuniaga, starting left back. Uh, backup left midfielder. Jesus. Trevino's injured, so he's he's pretty much done. Oh my god. Uh Carazales. Yeah, we're gonna go with this. 
All right. Um, four measly goals. One in four, one in five plus. That's crap. Just crap. You know what? I'm going to start Troncoso. All right, let's get to it. I, I don't even know. I don't even know. All right, dressing room. Let me check the tactic real quick. Uh, yep, take off the offsides trap. We're going to drop back one step. All right, pep talk. Encourage the team. All right, we're in the black kit, so at least we'll end off on a good note, not in the yellow jail uniforms. And I guess I need to apologize for getting stuck here for four seasons, but after... Oh, hello, Troncoso. Yeah. Cheeky. Bermudez with the touch to set up the goal with the assist. Off a set piece, man, we don't see that too often. Oh, nice little touchdown. Sweet. Um, yeah, I just, we won that, we won silverware the first season, got promoted, and I got the job interview, and I really probably should have taken that move. Um but it was another team getting promoted, so it probably would not have mattered. Um, I'm going to praise them. But yeah, we're, we're done here, so we're out of the cup, so this is definitely the last match. So when the match is over, we'll look at the season wrap-up, award winners for the last year. Uh, we'll take a look at any jobs that are open currently, because I'm definitely you know, going to start trying to get in Oh, hello. Oh, Samosa got carded for clocking the keeper. That was cool, though. Good good job. Uh, I thought the keeper spilled and... Offsides? Oh, a penalty. Hello. Who's taking it? Castillo. All right. Yes, we're going to go out with a bang, boys. Third goal of the season. Man, that puts him right up on the leaderboard. Remember, four's our team lead. Man. God, I remember the glory days uh, when I had 30 and 40 goal scores in FM18. Ugh. Those were the days. They'd get more goals in a match than we've gotten all season. <laughs> oh man all right two minutes there we go five to three two chances we're losing possession but you know if, if we're putting them in i don't care one clear cut one half just one long shot on five i am cool with that um keep it up we do want to tell them watch your bookings god i wonder if every league in south america is like this with the yellow cards because that's brutal i've got i don't think i've got a single player that's been eligible in every game let alone able to play every game wow all right patino salazar takes a step sends it wide Oh, uh, by the way, if you are interested in Marcelo Bielsa, uh, because this is a South American journeyman, may have some people in South America watching, uh, don't forget on Amazon Prime, uh, they, uh, uh, Raziani, the owner of Leeds, uh, his entertainment group did a, a series Ooh, let's let's sub. Uh, um, did a series on last season, 
and uh, that came out today on Amazon Prime, and it's called, uh, what's it called? I forgot, because I haven't watched it yet. So don't tell me about it. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to binge watch it tonight, I think. Um, Take Us Home. It's called Take Us Home, Leeds United. And it's about last year, but it does show a little bit of the history and uh, the woes that the club have had over the years. Uh, Arujo on the right. Let's go ahead and put Beretta in there for him. Actually, you know what? Rivera. Castro. All right. There we go. There we go. Uh, so yeah, check that out if you're, you know, if you're a fan of Bielsa or, you know, just of what, you know, what they accomplished last year, which granted they didn't get promoted, but still, you know, they were first for 99% of the season. They almost went up, you know, I think injuries down the stretch cost them. So be it. But still finishing third and in, in making the, you know, playoffs was a, was a great run for uh, for the club. Uh, Porto or let's now let's go with Delgado. All right, a little time wastage there at the end. We're up two nil. Awesome nine. To, uh, we're down nine to eight on shots. We're down sixteen percent on possession, but that's okay. We still have two chances. Five on target. It'd be nice to get the clean sheet. So this is actually in interesting that we're playing that higher line, just taking the offsides trap on. And I could see keeping the offsides trap if we had the pace and acceleration. Uh, that's going to be something I'm going to have to consider at my next job. Uh, all right, dressing room. Uh, hand over to assistant. All right, well, whatever. I guess that was bad. I didn't even talk to him after our last match. So we'll let's get to the end of season awards. We avoid relegation. Yay. Solid defense. All right. We'll come back here in a second with the end of year awards.
Well, you know what? I'm going to have to wait longer because of the playoffs, and I don't think we get our end of season until the actual playoffs are over. So I don't want to wait around that long. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and just take off. Um, so first off, let's go into, well, we're going to resign. Uh, my contract, resign. Well, end of club season. We are at the end of the season, right? All right, well, I'm going to announce my retirement. Boom, boom. I'd be lying if I wouldn't have pre pre preferred to celebrate a little more often. <laughs> All right, I guess we are going to stick around then. Now the nerves are setting in about where I'll go and I mean we don't have any other matches, so it's kind of weird. Um nope, decline talks. Yep, I'm out of here. Watch they come and fire me like today. <laughs> You're fired. Get out. I mean, all things considered, it wasn't it wasn't a bad club. Um, I think we had some success. We got them up to the Segunda Division. We just struggled once we got here, right? I mean, it was just brutal. But you know, multiple. You know, it's probably the more takeovers in one with one team. Than I've had, than I've had probably in all the years of playing football manager, which is odd. Um, it was just you know every time I turn around, we'd have a you know possible takeover, and they were all real small, but they were pretty good about putting some money in, especially the last the last guy, not the current guy, but the guy previously. You know, I mean, you know, we ended up positive finances to where I was able to take coaching badge courses. Um, so that was, that was nice. And that was, you know, I kind of regret not taking control of, of scouting and signings earlier. I think that would have made a big difference. And I'm still very confused I mean, we just talked about it, you know. Oh, Liverpool, go Loki, top of the Premier Division. Um, how you could possibly lose and be relegated by a team that had the opportunity to earn six more points than you because they play two extra matches. That just doesn't seem... That doesn't seem right. If you guys are from South America or are more familiar with South American or Venezuelan rules, for sure let me know, you know, if there's some caveats in there in real life that changes how that appears on the surface because I'm like, eh, yeah, that would that would suck. I mean, could you imagine coming down to the last day and, you know, if they would have beat us and beat us by one point or one goal but had two more matches played? Oh, man, I would just like... I would want to choke somebody out. <laughs> oh, man, that would just be... That just sounds ill-suited to... I don't know. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to a fresh start. I, I really am. Um, the last... Probably the last two seasons, 
this year was very draining and wearing. Uh, last last season was got that way kind of like in the closing stage. But, you know, that's part of the game. And like I said, I, I don't think you should be able to wear, wear, win every match. I'm sitting here going day to day, and you know what? It's probably... We're probably a week away, right? Uh, group B, playoff, semifinal. Oh, they have played. And playoff final drawn on November 7th. All right, well, let's, uh, that's when I guess my... I'm going to go on vacation till then, so we'll come back on the 8th, and uh, I'll see you back here for that. We'll see who won, and hopefully that'll get us into retirement, and then we can look at teams that are available and go from there. All right, there we go. All right, William Bautista, player of the fans, player of the season. Valenzuela, our keeper, was second. You don't usually see a keeper up that high, do you? And Bermudez, who didn't start up a ton of games, third. Bautista, goal of the season, signing of the season, and Delgado, young player of the season. Uh, locker room has gone down again. Leadership. Yeah. That's all right. Uh, I resign. That's fine. Uh, ooh, Revis, my youth development boss. Good on you. I'll have to remember him. Uh, and all right, so let's jump into the job center. Well, actually, let's go to job security. All right, so well. Take a look at my profile first. Maybe, maybe, profile. All right, so we're one and a quarter star. Oh, I got, who's that? Why does a guy in frickin' England give a shit about me over in South America? <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Oh, well, screw them. All right, so one and a quarter star. So that's that's kind of what I'm thinking is we need to be two stars or under. So we've got uh, some available jobs. The Bolivian Premier Division, they're number 15. That might be a little high. Chilean First Division B is number 21. Now that's a possibility because we were in the 25th or 26th, so that's not a huge jump, right? Not a huge jump. Uh, let's see, Minnesota's there. So, uh, da -da. The Paraguayan Intermediate Division. They're 22, so that's a possibility. Paraguay Premier Division. That's 31, so that would be a step back of about six spots. That wouldn't be horrible to kind of let me reestablish myself. Right? I think I added in a couple of... Uh, couple of Central American teams. Let me just double check. Yeah, Paraguay's down uh, between Bolivia and Uruguay. Much closer to San Paulo. That's interesting. Second division's going to be too high. You know, I might... I might do that. I mean, they're they're half stars. They're okay finances. They've got some real players. They look like they play like shit, except for the guy that's on loan. I can't see. Of course, I can't see. Let's see. Uh, overview of the club. Poor, semi-professional. Not a fan of that. Pretty sure Minnesota was professional, right? Pretty sure? 
99%. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I don't really want to go to a semi-professional. Uh, first to Marzo. The March 1st team, is that what that says? Semi-professional. Ugh. God, I really don't want to drop down to semi-professional. Um, Chilean third division. Chilean first division. Two stars, professional. I think I'm going to apply for this one. I'm probably going to get laughed at. Uh, you job advert. Well, I've been able to keep them clear from relegation. 360,000 payroll. All right, we're going to apply for that. I'm going to just kind of keep tabs on things. I don't think I want to go to a semi-pro team, guys. I may not have a choice. I don't want to sit out too long. But there's no way for me to get into one of these two and a half, three stars. It's going to have to be a one, one and a quarter star at best. Um, what about that one, Paraguay? They're professional, adequate. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna apply for that one too. All right. Well, we're gonna call that a season. Oh, hold on. All right. They've received it. They've received it. All right, so um, we'll get into the new season. I will find a new job, and I guess we'll find out where I'm at when we come back for the next episode. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to work on th this today, even though I'm about a week ahead. I can bump up some, some of these because I'm really excited now to get into the new club, get through uh, transfers, because that's getting ready to start, at least in Venezuela. So, guys, thank you so much uh, for making it through Minnesota with me. Whew, what a chore. That was rough. Uh, probably the hardest job I've ever had uh, in football manager. I think I can honestly say that. Um, if you've seen a series where I've struggled worse, let me know. <laughs> but I think this is it. This is the hardest job I've ever had. Um, but, yeah, hit the like button, subscribe. Stay tuned for what comes next, the next chapter of The Journeyman. See you guys. Bye.